Yo, what's up YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So this is gonna be my first top 10 brawler list ever. And yeah, you guys have been loving the Power League videos, so we are gonna do it on the top 10 brawlers in Power League, in my opinion. And I asked for like a few friends for their opinion as well, just so it's not like totally biased. And I got some really good feedback, so hopefully this list will be able to help you guys out. All right, so just explaining how I'm gonna be determining the brawlers that I think are top 10. Um, there's gonna be three categories. So first, carry potential, that's gonna be weighted kind of the hardest, I guess. Uh, ban rate is another one because Power League there are brawler bans, stunt ladder, you can't play whatever you want. So a lot of these brawlers like will be banned and I kind of factored that in with uh, some of them that won't be in the list as well. And then uh, the final one is mode versatility. So obviously all you guys can't be maxed out, like it is pretty expensive. So you want to upgrade brawlers that you know you can play like in every mode or like almost every mode. You want to have like a decent champ pool that you can like just like you know like play no matter what map you get so yeah that is going to be deciding what these brawlers are ranked all right guys so coming in at number 10 we have gray now for carry potential i put six out of ten uh you can make some really cool plays with gray and like if it's knockout or something you get a hook on someone and that can win you around so i think it can carry games really hard it's just kind of hard to say like 10 out of 10 or something like that with the other brawlers on the list so for ban rate i have six out of ten if you want to play throwers most of the time uh you're thinking about banning gray that's always something that's on my mind and i don't really main throwers but i know a lot of people like in bounty for example or knockout or something like that they want to play a thrower they usually like just go and ban gray or like max or carl something like that just so they don't have to worry about getting hard counted that much and then mode versatility i have it seven out of ten um you don't see it too much in gem grab or heist i guess it could be played it used to be played in heist before when everyone could tp right away but not so much anymore but pretty much every other mode it is played in uh, and pretty frequently at that as well so yeah it's just like a really strong brawler in my opinion i don't think they'll be nerfing it anytime soon either uh so Feel free to go ahead and use your power points. Don't blame me though if it does get nerfed. I don't think it will. I think it's balanced. It's a good brawler. It's balanced. But I also have a lot of fun playing Gray. I'm not the best at it, but you can make some really cool plays on it as well. I definitely recommend uh, using the hook gadget. I forget exactly what it's called, but the piano, it kind of fell off. And uh, for the star powers, you can kind of rotate. Sometimes I take the one that pairs really well with shield gear. And the other one I take the, if I have like an aggro comp and my teammates are going to be like TPing a lot, then I'll put the 1000 HP per TP. But yeah, guys, definitely try Gray out. All right, coming in at number nine, and this one might surprise some of you guys. It is Tara. So Tara got buffed a few balance changes ago, and it actually does like a ton of damage now. Before it can really like get it super i think it got a supercharge buff as well so it's just like a pretty good brawler right now the gadget does counter a lot of things like gray or something like that and i think it has a really high carry potential so i put it 8 out of 10 um and the argument for 8 out of 10 is just like you know you have to like build up to get your super you're not really doing too much until you do have your super but once you have your super it's probably like one of the scariest supers in the game everyone knows what it does so <laughs> it kind of once you have it like the whole map needs to be like on alert and stuff like that so i think there is really high carry potential for it and it's not really banned too much so i put it at two out of ten and i think sometimes like people will ban it like if they want to play shelly it's a really good counter to shelly probably my favorite one um but besides that like it's usually left open and yeah i think it's like really slept on right now i don't think a lot of people would put it in their top 10 but i talked with a few pros my friends and uh yeah we all kind of agreed that it's just like a really solid pick and uh for mode versatility i put six out of ten so usually you won't like see it in knockout um you do see it on some heist now with pit stop being in the game but uh i mean technically i have seen it in knockout even in like uh monthly finals and stuff like that i saw an asian team playing it but it's usually just like a counter pick so if um i see like tanks and shelly's are banned or shelly's banned and my first thought is like all right is tar open like what are the tar, tar matchups like what map is it so i think it's like really good into tanks so definitely level up your tara and give it a try all right guys coming in at number eight we have carl so i think it has really big carry potential carl you just can't pick it early on a lot of maps because it does get so hard countered by so many things in the game but it's like a double-edged sword like it counters so many things in the game like all the squishy mid ranges the gadget's really good for going up the map and uh just applying a lot of pressure and yeah if you can get like a free like six pick carl game like most of the time you win i think and 
it's banned pretty often I'd say but usually like you have last pick like you think about banning Carl and uh, yeah so it's definitely banned a good amount and for mode versatility I think it's pretty much played everywhere um, I put 7 out of 10. Maybe it could be a little higher. You can play it in like Knockout and stuff like that. A lot of people have going with like Daryl instead of Carl lately though. It's just like more HP and easier to pull off I think. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much play Carl anywhere now that I think about it more. It might be like 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. But uh, yeah, it's a really strong brawler and you want to use the shield star power on it where you get 30% shield protective pirouette I think. And then uh, for the gadgets, Definitely use the dashing one where you go forward with your pickaxe, but heat ejector is kind of fun sometimes too. You guys can try it out. I'm not like, I'm not gonna vouch for that one too much, but I do enjoy using it sometimes. I don't know if my Power League teammates enjoy it as much as I do, but over, overall, Carl's like a really fun, fun brawler and uh, you guys should definitely try him out. All right, coming in at number seven, we have Crow. So it's carry potential. Uh, it's like kind of, you're just kind of poking and the gadgets you definitely can carry on. Always use the slow gadget on crow it is might be the best gadget in the game it's definitely like top like three for sure i think everyone will agree on that like you can slow three people at once and uh yeah his like poison is very annoying too but i don't think it's a super like carry brawler it's kind of like you do your part and it just makes it so easy for your team to play the game or like really hard for the other team to play the game and uh the ban rate it is pretty high so pretty much like a lot of maps where it's first picked uh it's gonna be banned so some of those can be like hot zone maps like ring of fire open zone uh pinhole punt and brawl ball it's banned like permanently pretty much and there's a lot of other maps too and uh for mode versatility i put seven out of ten you don't really see it too much in uh bounty or knockout like i've seen it a few times don't get me wrong and it's kind of like the same thing as tara where you could just pull it out to counter like a specific brawler like shelly or something like that and uh it will work really well into that so you can try that out definitely but uh besides that you don't really see it in those modes now <laughs> crow is if the gadget ever gets nerfed like gutted i don't think it'll be that good of a brawler so and it is banned out like a decent amount like i said on the maps where it is pretty good so yeah just be careful if you are going to be upgrading it like i don't know about the future of crow i feel like it's been good for so long they can't just like leave it like this and uh yeah it's definitely <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it's a super fun brawler but it'll get you in so yeah definitely try out crow all right coming in at number six we have gus now gus is definitely the best gem carrier in the game in my opinion on like most maps and he's just a super strong mid really good support brawler as well so anything where you kind of need like control of like a center point i think gus is really strong it's also like a very strong lane in uh maps like bounty um so i put carry potential seven out of ten it's nothing like uh piper really because it is supposed to be a support brawler it's just too strong but i think like any long range brawler you can carry it really hard on you just gotta hit shots and the gadget is really good for finishing kills if you time it right you're gonna use the one that does 14 10 damage when you press it uh never use the other one <laughs> but yeah when you press it you can just like literally you hit a shot then you gadget then you hit another shot so it's around like 4k damage something like that and uh it isn't really banned that often you'd be surprised i feel like a lot more people should be banning gus uh it's usually left open in pretty much all my games it's like very rare that it's banned and uh yeah i put three out of ten for that one and mode versatility it's played everywhere except for heist and it's usually like one of the earlier picks in the game like not really first pick but usually like two three like four or five something like that and uh yeah it is just very strong I feel like they might nerf it coming up because I think it's just like way too dominant in most of the like long range matchups. And for a support brawler, like they're not supposed to be this strong. <laughs> it's like what with what like happened with Max. Like it was way too strong. They kind of gutted Max. Uh, and yeah, I personally think support brawlers should be support brawlers and not as strong as a lot of them have been at some point. But I think Gus, no matter what, it just has a really good kit, it has a really good gadget, good star power, and usually for the star power, I use the one where the shield 
does extra damage if they have it on. Um, and yeah, the other one I've seen other people use a little bit. I don't think it's bad, but the shield damage one is just so good. So I recommend the gadget. <laughs> I forget the name of the gadget. Where it explodes, it does damage, and then the shield where it does extra damage too. Everyone loves damage, so definitely try it out. All right, so now we're at top five, and coming in at number five, we have Mr. P. So carry potential, I put three out of 10. Now Mr. P is weird, like I don't think you really, you can obviously hard carry like a game on any brawler, don't get me wrong, but you know, there's a difference between like a Mr. P just like kind of like throwing his briefcases at you and like, let's say like a Mandy super or something like that. So the good thing about Mr. P is it is arguably the most annoying brawler in the game. Uh, and those porters, like once you get them up, it just like takes everyone's ammo. Like it's something they always have to focus on. And you want to use the gadget where it makes the penguins gain like 3k HP or whatever. And they're just like a super like enraged penguin. Uh, so definitely that one. And then I always use the one where it just the star power where it buffs the penguins from the start as well. And uh, yeah, for the ban rate, I think it's banned like usually if someone has last pick, uh, you know, if you're first pick, you want to ban it for like last pick or something like that because I don't think it's worth first picking. You can get ran down, but I also think it's fine picking two, three a lot of the times if you take it with like a tank counter or something like that, depending on the map, of course, and the bans. But uh, yeah, ban rate, six out of 10. It is pretty annoying. And mode versatility, I put nine out of 10. I think it's played everywhere except for heist. Um, and <laughs> it is just super annoying. You got to get your porters down ASAP, but it does have some bad matchups. Like I said, you can get ran down really easily and there's not really much you can do. But overall, I think it is a really versatile brawler and uh, probably one of my least favorite to play against in Powerly because I feel like it's a very easy brawler too. And you know, the porters do a lot for you. You can do some cool stuff with like uh, the basic attack. I like how it goes over walls. But uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So if you want like to just kind of like lay back, like get your porters and have like a relaxing yeah, power leak, I'd recommend Mr. P, but again, don't pick it into tanks. All right, coming in at number four, we have Bonnie. Now Bonnie has been a menace and one of the most consistent brawlers since her release. I'm pretty sure she only got like a small HP nerf at one point, but uh, yeah, it's just been like a really safe pick in most modes. And for carry potential, I put six out of 10. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, you can definitely run over like teams, you press your gadget, like just run in a straight line. You can jump on people, like get a lot of kills like that. But it's also like, I feel like it's just like a really safe pick and uh, you don't need to like hard carry. I mean, sometimes you do, but sometimes it also works if you take like safe picks that like you're not gonna lose lane, like you already have a carry brawler on your team, something like that, or something that doesn't get countered super easily. And Bonnie is that, it is like a very safe pick in my opinion. It's hard to kill, it applies a lot of pressure and it's really good for finishing kills and uh, it does a ton of damage if you can get on the heist safe. So I put ban rate four out of 10. It's not banned that often in a lot of my games as well. Um, now I think it was like, a probably like a month ago, I think there was a lot more Bonnie bands, but people are starting to forget about it. And uh, you know, it's still as good as ever in my opinion. Not a lot has changed in the meta. So I definitely think it is one of the strongest Power League Brawlers you guys can play. And uh, it's very versatile. I put eight out of 10. Now you'll probably see Bonnie in like every mode besides like gem grab really. And I just don't think like, it's not really a mid and gem grab, but I've seen people play it like there a while ago. But uh, yeah, every other mode I think it's really good in, even like Hot Zone and stuff like that. I think it's pretty slept on in Hot Zone on a few of the maps in the Pirate League rotation right now. So yeah, it's definitely a really good brawler and it usually makes it through the pick and ban phase since a lot of other brawlers are like more prioritized than it. And it's not, <laughs> it's not really the funnest brawler. So usually people in Power League, like they'll pick the Piper or something, but you know, take the body sometimes guys. It's a really good brawler. All right, coming in at number three, we have Squeak. And for carry potential, I put seven out of 10. It could be higher, like eight out of 10, something like that. Now it is probably like the most oppressive brawler in the game besides maybe tick on some maps and it's super annoying. So that's why I didn't like factor in, like it's more like annoying than like a hard carry a lot of times I feel like, but it's just like such a nuisance to have on the map, the gadget might be like i know i said this about the crow gadget but uh the slows like the slows in the gadgets is too much squeak slow needs to be nerfed i have a feeling it will be uh, fingers crossed because 
You can't play the game for 10 seconds on a lot of brawlers if he does just throw that slowdown. And he's got three of them. 30 seconds of just like not playing the game. It's not very fun. And uh, yeah, if he lands it on you, you're usually dead. And they did buff his star power recently. I think it's called Chain Reaction. So now he does like 2k per shot for whatever reason. I don't know. I thought he was like in a... He was still strong before, but now he's just like too strong in my opinion. Uh, and he's a pretty annoying brawler to be like super meta, which I think he is in Power League. He does get banned very often. I put ban rate 9 out of 10. Like Squeak does not end up in a lot of my Power League games. Uh, and people used to just like last pick, but now you can like first pick it honestly on like a lot of maps, depending on the bans of course. You still gotta be careful of getting ran down by like some tanks or stuff like that. But he does do a lot better into it thanks to the chain reaction buff. And uh, yeah, of course he has the slow, which is pretty good into all the tanks as well. But uh, yeah, he's definitely a lot safer to pick earlier on now, and he might be the easiest brawler to win lane on in the game, besides like thrower into like squishy matchups, something like that. He is just like very, very good right now, and for mode versatility I put him 9 out of 10. You can play him anywhere. He does a ton of damage if you just like super the heist say. Gem grab, like arguably like one of the best lanes, of course matchup dependent. And then uh, Bounty, you see him pretty often. He's first pick on a few maps, I think like Canal. And uh, he's also pretty good on infinite. And uh, yeah, he's just like way too strong. I have a feeling it'll get nerfed. I'm hoping the gadget and uh, maybe the star power that got buffed recently. All right guys, coming in at number two, we have Cordelius. So I'm sure you guys have played against Cordelius. I don't know what they were thinking with this kit. It has like heals, it like takes you to the shadow realm. It has like like poisonous mushrooms if you step on it. It has a jump, it has a mute, it does so much damage. It has a buzz circle to charge it. It's so fast, like they just did way too much with this roller. I don't like hate it. I think it's kind of fun to play maybe because it's broken, but it is just like such a menace in Power League right now. It's banned like all the time pretty much though. I put nine out of 10. It is newer, so I feel like a week ago, like it was slipping through like a decent amount of my Power League games. You know, it's not like too late into the season. A lot of people are still unlocking it, but now I think everyone's starting to get it and it's banned pretty much all the time. And uh, yeah, if you can get it like Power 11 and it gets through like, it's just such a manage. It does not have like a lot of bad matchups. At worst, like I think it can keep range, but then it can just like chain supers on you, and it's just like so broken. And mode versatility, I put nine out of ten. I've seen people play it everywhere, and it's worked everywhere. Like it doesn't get a lot of damage in like heist or stuff like that, but it can play like such good like mid control and just like keep like squishies and like check even like throwers. Like I said, you can jump over the wall and like Rico or something like that. So. <laughs> You know, it's just, it's 100% getting a nerf. You can quote me on that. A thousand percent, it's getting a nerf. Hopefully, in the next one, I don't, usually when there's like this much community to like outrage about a brawler, uh, you know, it'll get nerfed. Like, they, they do pay attention. Shout out to the dev team. And uh, yeah, definitely get your fun with Cordelius because it is like 10 out of 10 carry potential and it's gonna get you some really easy games in Power League. Uh, and yeah. Hopefully you guys ban it in your games too because I don't want anyone playing as it. It's too broken. All right, and coming in at number one with three tens across the board. I'm sure you guys saw this coming, Shelly. So care potential, 10 out of 10. Ban rate, 10 out of 10. Mode versatility, 10 out of 10. And even though it's banned pretty much every game, like I just couldn't make a list like about best Power League brawlers and not put Shelly at number 10. Like that'd be crazy. Uh, and it's just like, Way too good, most broken brawler in the game by far. Carry potential on Shelly is insane, especially if you're good at it. You can be pretty mechanical now. I feel like a lot of with, like the fast brawlers, you can be. Uh, so you can definitely get slimy on the Shelly, and the Clay Pigeons gadget is just so good for finishing kills like across the map. I think they have to nerf Clay Pigeons. You get like, I don't think you should get that many shots off. I think it's like four or five shots off. Like, I don't think that should be it. I think it used to be one way back in the day. I can't remember really, but it is so broken and it has a really good super too, like a wall break that like knocks them back. You can use shell shock on it. I prefer bandaid. If bandaid, you're just really tanky, but shell shock definitely really good into tanks and stuff like that. But if you have shell into tanks, like odds are you already won the game without the slow. But uh, yeah, they did nerf the slow to it. It's just such a menace still. Like it's the best tank counter by far. And uh, yeah, it's just way too good. It'll definitely get nerfed. It's been nerfed once, but I think they'll have to nerf it again because it's just way too good. Everyone knows it's way too good. Like, I probably can't be like this. 
So yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the top 10 brawlers in Power League list, in my opinion. I did get some more feedback, like I said earlier, and uh, shout out to the guys that helped me out with that as well. Definitely appreciate it, and hopefully it helps you guys get some elo and just kind of get a grasp on the Power League meta. Now, you can carry with like any brawler in the game pretty much, it's just knowing when to pick it. I do have a few like carry picks that I might do a video like my top five brawlers like off meta to carry with or something like that in the future because I don't want you to think that you can only play like these 10 brawlers in Power League like there's like 70 brawlers in the game almost like there's a lot of brawlers you can play not Jackie but everyone else maybe not Frank too okay there's a few you can't play but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the list and uh yeah, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you guys for all the support recently. I appreciate it a lot, and I'll see you soon. Peace!